Okay, so in this one we're going to bring in uh, another base using the silent um, called the the Womp base, and we're going to add a new instrument, silent one, and if we just rename this to Womp base, and if we again Apple K, we can hear this. So I'm just going to bring the volume of this track back to begin with, and if we open it and initialize this preset. And then I'm just going to go to our first oscillator, make it a sine wave and give it some voices and slightly detune it. Just to give it some uh, sort of sub bass to it. And we'll do, pitch it down an octave. And we'll bring in a tri saw as the other voice. It's got a nice uh, thick voice to it as well. We'll give it a, a whole bunch of voices, um, slightly detune. Bring the volume back slightly and we'll pitch that down. And we're going to use a, a low pass filter, add a touch of resonance and some drive, and add some warm drive distortion down here too. And we're going to be using the, the cutoff trick that we used before, so I'm going to use the cutoff AB on the LFO 1 down here, turn that up. And again, the pitch control down at the bottom left on our mod envelope. This time I'll make it a wee bit more severe. Okay, so we're going to add another oscillator to this then. So we'll go to part B this time and we'll add some pulse waves. So we'll add a voice, go to our pulse waves. It's got a uh, pulse gives it a more of a sort of a metallic sound to it. And we'll add some octaves to it just to get it nice and high up there. We'll pan it off slightly to the left and then we'll add another voice over here. We'll add uh, a few voices this time. And instead of the pulse, we'll use the next one up, which is just a thinner version, which is the H pulse. And we'll add three more vo or octaves up. And then we'll slightly detune that um, using the note value just to give it a bit more of a, a characteristic, a bit more of a, almost like a chord being applied to it. And we'll pan that one off slightly to the right. And then we'll bring in both the A and B into the filter on a low pass. Turn the drive right up. And the cutoff down slightly. So we're starting to distort this. It's going a bit metal. Okay, so that's grand. And we'll go down to the, the last thing at the bottom here is to turn the port amount of control on and the mono legato so we can sweep it around if we if we ever need to. And finally I'm just going to add a touch of EQ. We'll just move it out of the sub range up slightly for the bass. And the treble will add quite a lot of it but more in the sort of mid range. So it sort of thins it out in the center and we'll add some compression. And just leave that as is. Okay, so that's everything. We just need to bring the filter control back now. And then if we come out of this, that's going to loop around a section at the start. And it's going to be at the end of the second bar is where we're going to put it. So we're going to double click, create a two bar loop. And right at the end here, I'm going to draw in a note.
So there we go, we've got this nice sort of metallic -y noise. So I'm going to draw it in here, last beat of the bar. Just set this to quarters here. Oh, one too many there. Okay, so the final thing we're going to do with this is send it to our base track, so if we, our base bus. So if we open the extended controls, change the stereo white to our groups and our base bus. And we're going to pan it off to the right, just to add a bit of variation to it. And this falling base here, I'm actually going to go in and pan it off to the left. And for this, it's just going to play at the start of the first bar. So I'm going to bring it back in again. And if we just drag this across at bar 9. Add a touch of volume to this, and that's it. Okay, so in the next tutorial, we're going to bring in another uh, synth using the uh, silent again, um, but this time um, it's going to be slightly different. Once again, just to add another variation on our baseline.